hi there everyone welcome to a another video so uh be sure to watch until the end of the video to get an understanding of what i am doing so uh without any further waste of time uh, our pay for to today's video is the euro gbp the euro versus the pound so without any further waste of time let's get on with the analysis right so as usual i am on the four hour time frame of the pair and i will switch to to a line graph to identify uh my four key levels so starting with my lowest low there and my highest high there at the top can see and now catering for my other key level would be um yeah so as you can see i have my four key levels but there's an extra key level that i do want to cater for which is there so now that i have my key levels uh I've, now that I have identified my key levels from the line graph, switching back to candlesticks to now have an understanding and to now see, to now basically cater for uh, the market structure, I'm seeing a, I'm seeing this small buy. Right, I am seeing this small buy. So, uh, I think, um, okay. So, this is not even a, a, a four hour time frame trend. It's possibly a one hour. Let me see. Okay, yes, it's an hourly time frame trend, right? So, as you can see, we are in the small buy on the market. Was playing around this key level, so basically, we're not really sure uh, that the, what will the market basically do from there, right? So, uh, there's two ways, right? So the one way to find to basically cater for an opportunity is to basically wait for the market to break out. To break out to the downside retest and then continue to the downside for basically sells or the market can either give you a a chart a reversal chart pattern whilst inside the overall buy to cater for those uh, buying opportunity right so uh, i want to move back to the four hour time frame to see properly okay so the market is might give you those buys can either give you those buys or those sells right so uh what what do we do now so uh now we uh bear in mind that we are in an overall buy right we are in an overall buy so should we look for more uh should we look for buying opportunities more than selling opportunities, right? So uh, I do want to cater for the zone that I'm seeing here. Yes, so this is my zone. So basically for sales, should I wait for the market to basically break out, this break out and retest the zone? And push to the downside right but uh since we are inside the overall buy uh moving to the 30 minute time frame to uh basically identify um reversal chart pattern well there's a possible reversal chart pattern that i'm seeing here which is a an inverted head and shoulders so <coughs> uh that that is possibly what i'm what i'm seeing that is pos that would be possibly what i would cater for 
since we are still inside the overall pi, right? So the possible um, reversal chart pattern is an inverted head and shoulders. So basically, should I wait for the market to basically reach this uh, breakout and retest right there, or even if I see a breakout and the retest uh, above this uh, key level, and then that's where um, that's where I might look for overall buying opportunities. Right. So say for example I do have an entry there and my stop loss would be there at the key level and my take profit would be at the nearest key level which is the red key level that I did cater for, right? Or even if it's not uh, the nearest key level, but see, uh, I might either cater for uh, the touch of my trend line there, which would give me either a 1.66 uh, uh, restaurant ratio or a 1.95, right? So as long as it's more than a 1.5, I'm cool with that. So this would be basically my setup for uh, those buys, right? Those buys, and then now catering for uh, sales. So catering for sales, I would then basically wait for the market to break to the downside, retest the zone, and that's where I would have those styles right so this is how my position would look like i would have this the short position i'd have the short position there with my stop loss uh possibly just above this black key level possibly there uh the stop loss pips 41.4 and uh, my take profit would be at my nearest key level, which uh, would basically complete the size of my buy trend with a good risk to -reward ratio of 2.79. So, um, yeah, that, that's basically uh, what I would, that's basically how my uh, setup would look like for sales and buys, right? So, uh, nothing more, nothing less. Today's video um, was so short. This basically this setup uh, for this Euro GBP pair is like simple. It's so simple. It's so simple. You just have to be patient and wait for the right time to enter a trade, right? With your confirmations and obviously with uh, proper risk management. But the setup is so simple. So this this is the video I have for you today. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them on the comments below. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. And if you want more content, subscribe. And without any further waste of time, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.